Okay, now we are going to write to a text file. We're going to enter information into the edit box. And when I click on the button right, it's either going to create a new file for me or it's just going to add something to an existing file. Okay, depending on the situation. Okay, at the moment there is already a file, a load.txt. So if I enter something now in my edit box and I click on write is going to append append means it's going to add something to the text file okay, so the coding is followed I'm going to take whatever the guy entered into the edit box save it in S line then I'm going to assign this file to this variable which I declared on top as a text file then I'm going to test whether the file exists if it uh, doesn't exist I'm going to create a new file rewrite my file so rewrite my file will create a new file for you else if it already exists it's going to append my file so it's gonna basically put it in um, edit or add mode so that when you do the right line it adds it to the text file so it will, if it was rewrite it will create a new file for you new file called a load.txt and when you write line is going to write the line that the guy entered into the text box into your text file which is a load.txt and then I'm going to close that te text file okay so let's test it quickly the James okay so basically what you did added everything to a load of text now I'm going to delete that text file so if this scanning is going to run again it should see that that hello.txt doesn't exist anymore so it should put it in rewrite mode um, so it will create a new text file for you and then when you rewrite uh, when, when you write line is going to write a new line into a new text file for you Jim. so he created a new text file for me with the name Jim I change it to a low one hello one it should again create a new text file for me because hello one doesn't exist and when he's going to write line, he's going to write the new line into that text file. Okay. So he created a new text file, hello one, and AA should be in there. So you can modify the program so that you can either every time rewrite and create a new file, or maybe if you only want to test the first time, you see whether the file exists you can use this coding or you can maybe if you just want you know the file already exists you just want to add something then you can only put it in append mode and then just write line every time